everybody. You know, going back, checking out the uh, video footage that I've gotten earlier, I'm sorry I sound kind of blasé, but <laughs> I didn't even realize it until I went back and watched, like yesterday's video that I posted. Um, this past week has been, I've been really, really jacked up as far as headaches and mouth pains and what have you, because I didn't even post this. I think I posted it on Twitter and that was about it. I really didn't say anything else about it, but I had a wisdom tooth and that jacked up tooth at the top here that's been bothering me for a couple of two or three years now, ever since I went to a dentist that got gave me a gum infection. I've been battling back and forth with that tooth ever since and I'm convinced even though the dentist kind of doubts that that could have happened, I think otherwise that that had a lot to do with that tooth dying because it died from the root down and the infection was actually from the top down. And so I just had the tooth taken out rather than a root canal and all that because with technologies and all these days, it's just as cheap to have a tooth removed and then an implant put in than anything else. So that's why I sound kind of jacked up because I have been um, having to take, unfortunately, I don't like taking drugs, but I have had to take the painkillers that they've given me and it kind of just kind of puts me out of it. Now, I've been like that all week. The headaches are sporadic now. Before, it just wouldn't go away. Like last night, I did all this. No problems, drinking plenty of fluids, you know, did some grilling and all that. But when I stopped and actually sat down to go and eat, just the whole left side, all up in my temple, behind my eyeball, just started like a migraine ache. You know what I mean? So that's why I kind of sound kind of out of it. And yeah, so I had to pop 800 to uh, kind of settle that pain down. And... I'm trying to, you know, not take them all the time, but just when I need them, like you're supposed to. So, here we are. Uh, the front end of the car is pretty much complete. Just got to unmask it. I'm leaving all the paper on it until we get every single thing done that we want to do. Still have to do this channel over here, uh, which I'm going to try to just fold this stuff back and back the car up to do that a little farther out. That way I have plenty of room to work with. I should be able to do that without, yeah, you know, just fold all that up and back the car up. It's no big deal. And here we have this mask off, as you can see, all the way back because, of course, today we have gale force winds. And I wanted to make sure that the overspray did not get on the car. And so far, so good because I don't even see any here. Uh, this is about as far out as I see little speckles. So I don't know that fallout from this high, even this seems kind of far but you know like I said there's a constant steady breeze as you can see happening right here and as soon as it lays down a little bit um, I went and grabbed another can we've already gone through one can of paint that can of paint went to the front end uh, that stripe those there and this here and that seems like excessive amount probably to a lot of people but being on this Raptor black and just scrubbing it down putting an adhesion promoter I want to be sure it's built up enough to where it's going to last a long time. All right, so we're doing light coats, and yeah, those light coats turn into thick, 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 and uses up a lot of paint. We have about a little under half a can here. I still have one more can and a little bit in that one over there. And as soon as this breeze lays down one time, we'll go ahead and spray this right here. So I may have to edit some out because I'm running out of stuff to talk about. All right, short little clip here before I unmask everything. I'm running short on my gray, so I'm not gonna do the back today. And I'm gonna let all this cure in and save the rest for later. I'm not gonna bore you with unmasking it, but so far we have this channel done. I'm not gonna hit it anymore, because looking at the thickness here and the thickness of the one over here, they're about what and what. This one actually could use another coat, but I'm not going to go through all that right now. I can always do that later. Uh, so this ought to look good whenever we take everything off. I hope it does. Hopefully it doesn't look derpy 
but following the lines and looking at the schematic and everything uh, this should turn out very nice and I've pretty much decided what I want to do to finish accents on the side I'm not gonna do the red stripes but I have decided that I'm gonna order some more of that winter gray and from here I'm gonna cut a line from the bottom all the way down here and I'll have to jack the car up and kind of tilt it but we'll cut the line and all this down here we're gonna do in that winter gray all right no stripes or anything on the side and on the back <clears throat> I'm going to do the same thing that I did on the front. Take the lights out, cut a line around here, and do this portion gray. Do this deck red. And then, if I do anything in this area right here, I'm going to put a Starfleet insignia right here on the back. Over the lock. I think that'll look smooth. And maybe have this be like in the, in the curvature of the Delta Slash right here. I think that's what I want to do back here. So thinking about it, um, the wind's really blowing too hard for me to do any of that today. Tomorrow's another day. I have one more day, and we can always come back and stencil this out. But I'm kind of, kind of curious of how this is going to turn out. So let me turn this off, and I'll cut you back on whenever I get all this monstrosity of masking off of the car. Stay tuned. In five, four, three. All right, everybody. So here we go the next phase of Project Defiant. And no, it's not this pile of nothing over here that I need to actually clean up. It's what's behind me right now. I've hit the next step and we're gonna call it a day because it's three o'clock in the afternoon on a Sunday. Um, my head's starting to kind of a little hurt up in my temple so I need to go pop me a, a dentist pain pill for the uh, nine tooth that's there. But I got a headache. And before it gets bad, I still gotta do laundry and clean up the house and all that. But that's not what you're here for. All right, what you're here to, to see is Project Defiant. All right, so this is what it looks like out of the dark with some light hitting it. And I don't want to step back too far. I forgot this thing's got like a wide out angle. And that's really noticeable. I'm going to have to fix this like ASAP because that, I'm going to have to touch that up right there. Like when I get done with the video, little spots right there. I'm going to get the Q-tip on it. But yeah, this side uh, turned out awesome. That's kind of my fault because of that headlight. Put it back in there. This headlight looks amazing. Looks brand spanking new. Yeah, this looks good. And looking at the profile of the whole car, you know, let's see. You can see the red here going up into the channels. Got your stripe in the middle and then the stripe at the top and those stripes turned out very nice I centered them up as best I could and got them they're not identical they're not identical but what do you want for a tape measure and a sharpie pen drawing it out on the on the roof but they're straight and they're thick and they look good so that's what she said <laughs> I don't know but there it is and I know I know that looks odd, but we're gonna fill this in, so don't worry. We'll pick up big ass US Defiant across here. USS Defiant. So there you go. I like it. I like it. That looks good. Yes indeed. Yep. Yeah, that gray is going to look good when I carry it around here to the sides and the back and that red deck. I think that's going to look amazing. I was even thinking about inside of inside the fog light where it's kind of angled that little round piece in there. And do this. Do this part, just this part right here in that gray. I might do that. And then same here. Do the gray on that side on the bottom. So, um, there you go. This weekend's project complete. Now I'm going to go in here and rest up some more. Because I've just been piddling on this. I've been feeling bad all week long since I had those teeth worked on. And pulled and headaches and everything else. So, I haven't spent as much time on this in the four days that I'm off as I would like. But, 
hey, we got this much done. I'm happy. I could stop right now and it would be good even if I left the little blemishes on here. But we got to get this old spray off of here because I don't want this stuff to bake in. Huh. I'm not going to drag the hose out right now. There, I might do that a little later. Yeah, it's a craft of the mind. Everybody go out there and have some fun. Woo!